Hey you guys, it's the Nobo Hobo and welcome back to another video. <laughs> I am so excited for today's video. So if you already happened to see last month's video, which first of all, thank you for watching. Second of all, if you haven't seen it, you should go watch it. <laughs> then you already know kind of what this whole video is about, but if not, I'm gonna give you a little explanation as to why I would do this in the first place. <laughs> in 2022, I am going to through hike the Pacific Crest Trail. I am so excited. The thing I was nervous for though is that I am not a skilled camper backpacker. The first time I camped overnight was last summer so I'm pretty new to everything and I really had to figure out a sleep system that worked before I dedicated six months of my life to sleeping outside. Originally my mom and I actually started with hammock camping which turns out was not for us. Coming into this summer, I decided to start tent camping, but I had no prior experience to tent camping. I had all new gear. I didn't know how to use it. I didn't even know if I could sleep outside. So I really wanted to test it all out. So that's what sparked the idea of last month's video where I decided to camp outside for 30 days straight. I really wanted to see if I could sleep well, if my gear would work, and I just really needed a long trial run to figure it all out. <laughs> Spoiler alert, if you haven't watched my first camping video, it went amazing. I was able to nail down some of the gear items that I really love and use all the time now. I was able to figure out how to sleep outside. I actually got so used and comfortable to sleeping outside that now I can't sleep well inside. So after a month long of sleeping outside, I decided that I wasn't ready to go back inside and sleep. I thought that it would be fun if I took you along for the whole second month of me sleeping outside. You probably noticed that this is part one and that is because because once you get to the end of this video, you'll see a little preview for next week's video, but this month was action-packed. Without further ado, let's get into my second month of sleeping outside. Well, this is quite the way to start off the first day of the second month outside. Um, we're going storm chasing. Mom, why are you pouting? <laughs> I just thoroughly embarrassed myself. So we were out storm chasing and we saw some lightning and then we also saw a sketchy guy walking out there and right now where we live there's a murderer on the loose. So the guy, we were parked in, at the other, like a couple miles away in the dark watching the storm and a guy walks by with a flashlight and I don't know that he saw us because our car lights were turned off. And I thought, oh, that's weird. At 12.30 in the morning, a guy's walking down the road by himself with a flashlight. And he walked for a long ways because when we drove back home, we passed him about a mile later, still walking along, sometimes with his flashlight on, sometimes not. So then he tried to wave us down to stop and help him and give him a ride. And her brother was in the car too. So I was like, well, I'm, I can't stop and help a man at one in the morning when it's just me and the kids. So I got home and I woke Lenny's dad up and said, uh, he's a reserve police officer. I was like, uh, do you want to go help that guy? Like, what should I have done? He's like, no, just call the non-emergency police number and they can send a sheriff out to help him. So, obviously, they did. <laughs> but the sheriff found us. We just got pulled over. <laughs> and Mom screamed when the cop came up to the window. He scared me. <laughs> when we went back out, we were sketched out, so Mom thought it was so, a good idea okay, for so me to bring home, bear we spray. Came, we came home, dropped her. <laughs> So we go to bed, got some weapons <laughs> to protect ourselves, and went and parked somewhere else closer to our house. Then all of a sudden, the police car drives up, and so I thought I he looked like he was turning around. And oh, I thought, yeah, yeah. I thought, oh, I'm in his way. He's turning around to go back down the other way because he didn't find the guy coming this way, so he's going back down the other road. That makes sense. So I drove away to get out of his way, but it was me he was trying to pull over. So then he turns his so lights, lights, lights on. And lights on and chased us down, and then comes up to the window, and it's her tennis coach. <laughs> Mom screamed because I was like, I have a weapon in my lap. What am I so doing? So she me right before, she, right before he walks up. She's like, I have several weapons in my lap. And I'm like, and then he walked up, and I'm like, ah! <laughs> it's been a week. 
here at night. I'm exhausted. I'm done storm chasing tonight. Except now I have to go out and sleep outside. Yeah, and there's still lightning right over us, but anyways. You have to watch it from home now because we get too much trouble out there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyways, that was a fun way to start off my second month of camping. Let's go storm chasing, Mom's head. <laughs> Good morning. It is a bright and early five o'clock in the morning. And why would I be up at this ungodly hour, you would ask? Uh, well, about 10 minutes ago, you cannot tell, it looks pretty. Up here it looks a little stormy, but there was so much lightning and thunder right over my tent. Um, it was purple lightning that I could see through my tent and the thunder was instant afterwards which is usually like a sign that it's really close so I could see it through my tent it was so close I thought it was gonna strike my tent so like a reasonable person who just woke up out of a deep sleep I ran inside with nothing but my phone and my knife so that I can scare that lightning off with my incredible knife tactics. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm gonna go back to sleep. It looked like there might be more of a storm coming, so <laughs> usually I love the storm, but I'm so exhausted. <laughs> hey, you guys, so. This month is easy peasy so far. <laughs> I didn't take down camp again, so I don't have anything to set up. It's already set up, except that two nights ago or whenever I set up tent last, I set up on a slight slope. So it's not super comfortable to sleep in. I was gonna switch my tent around today, but I got too lazy, so. <laughs> I'll just deal with it. So I got basically no sleep. Oh! There's an owl. <laughs> I got distracted. Oh. Okay, it landed. Anyways, geez Louise, I'm all over the place. Probably because I'm exhausted because that lightning kept me up all night. I'm ready for bed. Uh, well, it's two in the morning. <laughs> My family and I watched a really funny comedy show thing, which was really good um, because I talked about it in my first camping video, um, but the whole Black Lives Matter movement has really been on my heart, and um, yeah, so I've felt felt kind of sad and weighed down the past few days because of everything so it was really good to just watch a really funny comedy show for a couple hours with my family um but that does mean that i am absolutely exhausted i'm so tired it's two in the morning and those birds don't care if i go to bed at two in the morning or if i go to bed at 10 at night so they're still gonna get me up in the morning <laughs> So I'm gonna try and hurry and go to bed and fall asleep as fast as I can so that I can get more sleep, but I need to get on a better schedule. Anyways, just thought I'd update you with that. Good morning. So it's been windy all night and morning, so I didn't sleep great. No, I think it's like noon or something. <laughs> so I slept in, but other than that, it was a pretty good night. Instead of setting up camp, I'm gonna roast marshmallows. So if you watched my video from last month, you know that the sparkles have made their appearance before, but they're back this month better than ever. <laughs> I still just can't get myself to clean off my lens because the sparkles are so fun. Anyways, it is three in the morning. <laughs> because sadly, quarantine 
dateline and a good sleep schedule do not go together. <laughs> and dateline was a bad show to watch right before bed because I was lazy and didn't set up camp until just now. So then I had to set up camp in the dark being like, hmm, who's gonna jump out of the bushes and murder me? <laughs> Anyways, so setup went fine. I was speeding through it to just go to bed. I don't know. I'm so tired and all sketched out tonight because of Dateline. Good morning, you guys. Um, last night, I slept good. Um, ever since I got my quilt, which I talk a little bit about in my last month video, and I have a really in-depth video on the difference between my sleeping bag and my quilt, so if you want to watch that, you can go watch that. But ever since I switched, I've been sleeping better. I really like it, so I slept really good last night. It's a little bit warm this morning, but yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> a bird just came and pooped all over my tent, so that's fun. <laughs> I almost just had a heart attack. I'm setting up right next or under this tree and I was already thinking, I was like, ha oh, how funny would it be if there was a cougar up in there and then a bird flew out and scared me. Oh, that doesn't sound as cool when I'm saying it. I thought it was a cougar. It was just scary. It just, I promise it was scarier than it sounds. All right, you guys. Well, first of all, that bird thing was a lot scarier than it seemed because that bird stayed quiet for like a minute straight while I was standing right underneath it and then all of a sudden it just dive bombed me while I was thinking, mm, I wonder if there's a cougar up there. Anyways, just had to get that out of the way. <laughs> and what bird is dive bombing me at midnight? Ah. Anyways, I also figured out that last night, uh, I forgot about this, but when I woke up in the morning, I looked over and realized that my neighbor was also practicing camping and he was camping outside. So I'm really hoping that he didn't hear my three o'clock rant about Dateline and where the murderer was. Sorry, Steve. I hope you slept through that. Tonight's setup was fine. I'm tired. Now that I've like set up in the dark before, at first it seemed kind of daunting, but since last month I set up camp in the dark and realized it wasn't hard, now I just have no motivation to do it during the day. I'm setting it up right now, so. Setup went fine though. Oh well. I'm still mad at that bird. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Um, uh, I had to set an alarm this morning because I'm going to go paint a mural, which I'm excited for, but I'm really sad that I had to set an alarm because I slept so good. <sighs> my quilt is my favorite thing in the whole world. I think I'm going to try and convince my dad to let me leave up camp tonight. <laughs> so hopefully I don't have to set it up. Hey you guys, um, don't mind my bling. <laughs> the two girls of the family that I did the mural for, um, they gave me these as an early birthday gift, so they're so cute. I came out here because I did end up convincing my dad to let me leave my tent up because it has been raining all day. It's raining right now. Um, so I'm happy I don't have to set up camp in this because I'm really tired. Quarantine just seems to take it out of me <laughs> anytime I have to do something or set an alarm or wake up <laughs> I feel exhausted and done with the day anyways I don't have to set up camp so that's good because I'm exhausted <laughs> good morning you guys so you can see that I'm rocking my jewelry again and that's because I got up and then got ready and now I'm gonna head over and work on the mural again. Last night I slept good. I'm just on a crappy sleep schedule, but I slept good. It's just that I slept until like 12. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna head out and go paint 
It looks like it's gonna be rainy and stormy today. Um, and I haven't seen my dad yet, so I'm just gonna leave my tent up. <laughs> and hopefully I don't have to take it down later and I can just leave it up again. I'm gonna go paint and I will see you later. Christmas all year round, am I right? <laughs> It was rough. Um, I literally have paint in my hair, but I didn't even bother to shower and get it out. And I have a dentist appointment tomorrow. <laughs> and I hate dentist appointments. I just can't get my nerves to calm down. And just like ugh, a few bad dentist experiences, and I'm ruined for life so I'm stressed about that but I didn't have to take down camp today which was nice but it's a really nice night tonight it was windy and stormy all day so I'm really glad that it's a calm night right now but I'm stalling because I don't want to go to bed because that means that I'll wake up and have to go to the dentist Ugh, why <laughs> I just remembered that I have to go to the dentist this morning. And I ate a cookie at four in the morning. So I just got up and then remembered that I had to do an update. Um, but I did not sleep good at all. <laughs> I was too busy thinking about the dentist and then this wind was just like blowing in bursts. It wasn't like constant, so it was really hard to sleep in. And I ate a cookie at four in the morning because I couldn't sleep. And then remember that I have my dentist appointment, so. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go in side and then I think I'm gonna come out and break down camp for once because I've left it up for five million days. So. <laughs> I'm in my favorite yellow shirt to try and make it better. <laughs> I really don't want to go to the dentist. I think I'm going to have to bring a stuffed animal with me. <laughs> Just for the car, not for inside. Maybe inside. <laughs> oh, I'm done. <laughs> Yay. Um, that was an easy enough appointment. It's just that any appointment feels hard. Um, Anyways, I even unintentionally color coordinated, so I'm crushing today. <laughs> I'm all done with my appointment now, so I'm gonna go home and chill. Man, that took it out of me. <laughs> the only issue is that my mom was my ride and she's not here yet, so <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and wait, I guess. <laughs> hey, you guys, so tonight, well, actually, all of today was rough. <laughs> uh, ever since the dentist, man. I'm not cut out for going to the dentist. <laughs> I don't know how all you other normal people do. Oh, it wiped me out. <laughs> Anyways, today was like the first time that I've set up camp in not complete darkness in a while. So that was a nice change. Um, but I forgot my quilt, so I have to go back in and get that. Oh! Uh, and my teeth are <laughs> and yeah my mom and I are gonna go on a hike tomorrow so I'm gonna set my alarm today it's windy right now so I don't know if I'll sleep very good uh, if only I could sleep good in the wind then I would get a lot better sleep <laughs> today was a rough day Ugh. <laughs> my tent is hitting me in the head Stop! <laughs> Good morning. So, I got up early. I got like, not enough sleep. <laughs> but I slept really good and then set an alarm and got up early. So, I've got all my stuff packed up and my mom and I are getting ready to go on a hike. <laughs> my reward for going to the dentist yesterday. <laughs> yep, so it's a really nice day out today. I can tell that I would have gotten hot because I was set up in the sun, but I'm excited to hike in it though. Yay! 
I just realized that I unintentionally color coordinated again for the second day in a row. Okay, so I just finished setting up camp. I didn't film any of it because it's past midnight and it wasn't very interesting and my tripod completely broke. It's busted, so it sounded like too much of a struggle. <laughs> my mom and I went on that hike today. Um, it was exhausting. It was really fun, but it was exhausting. So I am very excited to go to bed right now. I'm gonna conk out. Good morning. I slept so good last night. I was supposed to get up and go paint today, but then that got canceled, which I'm actually kind of happy about because I need a day off after that hike yesterday. I'm sore all over, but yeah. I slept super good. Hey you guys, so I thought I'd give you a little update. Um, I did not have to break down camp today, which I was excited about. So now I'm just relaxing. Actually, I'm not relaxing. I've been doing chores all day, but I'm mentally pretending that I'm relaxing to get through my chores. <laughs> anyway, so I'm not gonna reset up camp today, but I do need to take it down tomorrow. Okay, well I finished my <laughs> midnight dance session. That's why I'm hot and out of breath. <laughs> Do any of you guys get that like random motivation at like midnight to just look up like a super hard choreo choreographed dance routine and just learn it? Cause I do. <laughs> Anyways, I came out here and I was like, oh nice, it'll be cold, it'll cool me off from my intense dance session. But no, it is warm outside and it's like midnight. I think it might be a warm morning. I think I'll sleep fine during the night, but I'm nervous for the morning because I think it's gonna be hot. Good morning. Um, last night was good. I was nervous that it would be like really hot in the morning, but it started raining in the middle of the night. I think you can hear. <laughs> Um, it's raining right now, so it cooled off a bit, which is nice. The only issue is that I was having trouble sleeping with my pillow. My neck was kind of off, but other than that, it was a pretty good night. I'm going to take down camp now, and yeah. Hey, you guys. So... Today was a good setup. It was an easy setup. There's a, let me see if I can show it, a beautiful sunset. My family's playing ping pong. <laughs> it is a good night. It was an easy setup. Yeah. And I'm glad I set up um, right now during this pretty sunset instead of setting up at night like I usually do. So I'm gonna go play some ping pong, hopefully roast some s'mores. And I will see you tomorrow. 18, 20. So last night I slept really good. The only thing that I realized is that there's two little like pieces of tent that you can velcro over the zippers and I didn't velcro them last night and it was windy enough that they just like flapped and made this really annoying sound all night. <laughs> So, and I was mad that I did that because I staked out my tent so good and I think I would have been able to sleep if not for that, but I got up a few times because of that. Other than that, I did sleep good. I just put in earplugs and then I was fine. It is a warm morning. I had to get out of my quilt and just sleep on top of it for a little while because the sun is beating down and it is hot. I just woke up from a nap. I think it's like, is it 5 or 6 p.m.? So, 
best time to take a nap, I think. I already filmed an attempt at my tent setup thoughts, but man, I was rambling. It's like one in the morning, and once it hits past midnight, that's when I start to ramble, so <laughs> anyways. Setup went fine, but the last two stakes were towards really rocky ground, because I set up too close to this tree, so then I was putting the last two stakes like really close to the base of the tree, um, so my hands kind of hurt from trying to get the stakes in. <laughs> Um, but other than that, it feels like a nice night tonight. I'm hoping the wind doesn't pick up because it wasn't my best tent setup. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm exhausted. Happy Father's Day. It's not even technically Father's Day anymore, but happy Father's Day <laughs> to celebrate. My parents and I stayed up late watching a TV show called Alone, which was, as my mom so eloquently put it, just as bad as watching Dateline before bed. <laughs> It was terrifying before bed having to set up in the dark because it's basically where they drop off these people and they have to survive alone with all these wild animals and stuff. So I'm like, what's gonna jump out of this tree? <laughs> oh man, I'm rambling again. Okay, I need to go to bed. <laughs> Good night. There are coyotes all around me. Not very reassuring sound to hear after I rant about how nervous I am about what's going to jump out of this tree. I hear like 10 coyotes surrounding me. So if they quit now, but <laughs> oh no, wish me luck. <laughs> okay, so this is about to be a gross bug story. So anybody who's afraid of bugs, just skip. <laughs> or anybody who just doesn't want to hear a gross bug story. Ugh. I came inside to brush my teeth, and as I was rinsing my mouth out, a dead spider fell out of my mouth. <laughs> Which either means that I had a dead spider stashed away in my mouth or stashed away in my toothbrush. Which both of those things are really unsettling to think about. <laughs> I feel like my whole life is just filled with really specific, weird, annoying stories. <laughs> it's, I just like couldn't believe that. I rinsed my mouth out and I was like, are you kidding me? Tonight never ends. <laughs> Hey you guys, so I don't think I filmed an update this morning because I went inside and was planning on coming back out and sleeping some more but then decided not to because I need to get on a better sleep schedule. But I slept pretty good last night, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I slept pretty good. Um, I was waking up a little bit in the morning but other than that it was fine. Um, yeah, so I am going to take down camp right now. It is really hot today. <laughs> So I'm gonna take down camp and I'll set up later. <laughs> Ooh, I look spooky tonight. <laughs> I decided tonight that I wanted to try setting up with the red light instead of the white light because when you set up with red light, I think what it is is that you don't lose your night vision. So I wanted to test that. Um, so far, Nope, I haven't lost it, so <laughs> that's a good sign. It was a little bit trickier to set up the inside of my tent just because I couldn't see quite as well because it's weird, all the colors are mixed up in my brain. But anyways, it was kind of a fun change. Um, tonight, I actually set up my quilt a little differently than usual. Usually, the past few weeks, I've had it totally cinched at the bottom towards my feet and zipped up so that a good portion of the foot box is covering up my feet and my legs, but it is hot tonight. It's super hot, so I can already tell it's going to be roasting in the morning. So I basically set it up where I still attached it to my sleeping mat, but I left it completely open on top, so it's just like a blanket. So we'll see how it goes. This red light is kind of fun because I was going to show you that I'm sunburned, but everywhere looks sunburned. So. <laughs> it was a good day, a good warm day. It's feeling a lot like summer now. Hopefully I don't roast in the morning. <laughs> Ugh, I just turned on the white light to film um, an update for another video. And I think I've already almost lost my night vision. I turned it on literally like right before this. So I think the red light 
is actually really good and I think I'll probably use it more often now. <gasps> good morning! <laughs> it is already so hot outside. Um, I'm really glad I set up my quilt just in like the blanket way that I did um, because it kept me warm throughout the night but then also was able to keep me a little bit cooler in the morning but man it is hot like the air is just hot in my tent I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go back to sleep <laughs> I think I probably have to get on a better schedule and start like setting my alarm so that I can get up by like 8 or so before it gets super hot anyways I'm gonna break down camp and then I have to paint today and then I will be back later to set up camp now I'm regretting doing yoga at 1 in the morning when I could have been sleeping <laughs> actually no I don't regret it that was really fun but, oh I don't think I told you but I did yoga at 1 in the morning <laughs> outside of my tent because it was a super clear night so there were all these stars and it was really pretty. Oh boy, it's going to be a long day. <laughs> Holy crap. It is so muggy and hot today. Ugh. We are currently on a walk and it feels like it feels like we're walking through quicksand or something. <laughs> it's so muggy and hot, I can't even like function properly. So I can already tell that tonight is gonna be rough. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a hot night. the hardest way that I could have shown this off. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Do you like my sorry attempt at trying to get my hair just out of my face? <laughs> oh boy, I look like a mushroom or something. Anyways, I finished setting up camp, but I ran out back <laughs> to do my update. I'm not doing it in my tent because the neighbors were out right next to me and the introvert in me just can't do it. I can't talk to myself in front of other people. So anyways, I'm out here. But tent setup, ugh, it was so rocky. My tent is like the most... <sighs> my phone quit recording in the middle of me talking. So anyways, what I was saying is that tent setup, my tent is the most awkward shape. I hope it's not even like the slightest bit windy because it'll be just a bad situation. <laughs> Anyways, besides that, it's still pretty muggy and hot. It's getting a little bit better because there's clouds and it rained for a little bit, but I can tell that I think it's going to be another warm morning. So I set up my quilt again in the cooler way, just like a blanket. I'm going to go inside and watch TV. It's been a long day. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> Ugh. Anyways, um, I'm hoping that the cougar does not come back tonight. 